Hello. Good evening, everyone. I'm glad to be back with you. I hope everybody's doing off, you know, all right. Just before I start, I will just be sure my chat thing is actually working properly. Just give me a second. Um, chat stream. Okay, so could someone just like uh, write me something in the chat just to be sure it's working out? I just want to be sure like you guys actually are able to to read whatever comment that uh, you write because since uh, I'm using a restream, it's kind of a uh, you know we got people from Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube live all at the same time, so I don't want like uh, nobody missing out on anything, so. Okay, it seems it work. So, yeah, today, like, uh, basically, I didn't do, you know, much, like, uh, in the past week. I, um, I tried to, but, like, it's, like, kind of nailed down the, um, the old, uh, of, uh, it's, it's not, like, perfect yet, but still, like, I think it's, it's getting, getting well, and I've tried, like, with the shapes to get like something nice like a flow of a from all the different angle I'm just gonna isolate it and we're gonna take a look at it and uh, yeah I'm missing the eyes right now so I'll load them in hey what's up Cynthia so yeah with the eyes so I try like to go a little bit like stylized because from what you can see from the concept, I know that you guys probably like barely see, you know, what's happening on the concept. But uh, maybe just before we start, I'll we'll take a look together. So yeah, so basically like this this dude over there, and like you can see like some sometimes with the as much as it's cool to have like a loose sketch, sometimes like you see like both sides are not exactly. So I I probably like to do like some kind of average of of the two which you know and I kind of like push the some of the shapes you know um, to be sure we are like something interesting going on even if it's not exactly the same I think the idea uh, the idea is like pretty much stay the same uh, you know I'll leave it like this for now but maybe eventually I'll put the eyes like a little bit smaller I kind of like it feels more like a predator if it's a, if it got like smaller smaller eyes so, but yeah, for, for now, I think that's good enough. So, before I start, like any good stream, basically I like to always like, uh, you know, show you guys like other sculptors, which I think they're amazing and what they do. And and I try like to, because there's so many good guys out there that, um, and girls that, uh, you know, it's all over the place, but I try like to focus more on 3D printing think since, you know, the whole purpose of that sculpting is actually to be printed at some point. Um, today, the print the sculptor I like to present you is called Martin Agusta. So, so yeah, right now I think he's, uh, like you can see, like the art director at, at XM Studio. But yeah, this guy got like loads of great sculpting. And I think in the recent year, he kind of like specialized into female faces because, uh, yeah, he got really, really good at it. So, yeah, you can look it up uh, on uh, three squid, three, three squid. Okay. And uh, yeah, on Facebook, same thing. It's this guy. So, yeah, like uh, a lot of interesting st stuff to, to see and... Uh, I, I like you know stuff like that because it kind of like pushed the boundary of what can be made and I kind of really like the whole because if you look at the silhouette it's got like such a unique silhouette and there's like a lot of things floating up I mean for the engineering part that must be kind of a nightmare because you need to think about all the metal rods and stuff like that you need to put inside just to be sure your sculpture your sculpture once printed won't actually break or stuff like that but yeah, if they were like able to recreate that as a physical form, that's that's gonna be amazing. But I'm sure they will they will be able to do it. 
and um, I think I'll take this time to actually show you something else as well um, it's uh, you know I posted on my uh, on my own you know art page but it's uh, my friend Car Franco Colorsimo who actually like uh, finally did, finally uh, did like his own uh, 3D print and uh, yeah I just wanted like uh, to show you which is you know it's pretty dope but uh, yeah, and there, I think there's still like a few sculptures left uh, to be sold. So if you guys are like interested to get some, uh, there's some like a little bit available. I'm not like getting anything from you know <laughs> from promoting him, but I just think he's a cool guy, and I think this, the sculpture re really deserves like a, um, you know to be paid for. So and um, you know like anything, like I want to show you. Sometimes I like I try like to show tools, sculptures, stuff that help me out like along the way. Uh, this time it's actually it's the a web page uh, or a news site. It's not like specifically for sculpting. It's like it's more 3D in general, and I guess like sometimes it leads in leads even more toward games. But I think there's a lot of great techniques, uh, plugins, stuff like that. Definitely the kind of page you want to go like daily. And uh, and even like sometimes you like you know stylized pro character production tips and tricks. Sometimes you know to mention to mention stuff like about silhouette and stuff like that. So it's it's always like something that can be useful to be applied with our sculpting. So I think you know the the wider you get like your influence, you know it, some some might be just like you know like oil painting and stuff like that. I think like you shouldn't limit your art by only looking at sculpting. For me, like one of the things I love to to watch from time to time is actually eye fashion. I think I think it's crazy, and I, I what I like like about it is like maybe not all the time, but most of the time it's functional because people are wear, wearing it and walking with it. Sometimes like it falls apart, but I think it's I don't know. There's something cool about like having a functional outfit rather than just um, rather than just a uh, you know like a concept. Which you know in real life you really you would really wonder, you know how this thing would actually work out. So one of the things that you know for a while I wanted to tackle with this was uh, the shoulders, which I felt they were like kind of really messy, and uh, I was like kind of bothered with that. So I think I'll I'll replace those ugly uh, things, and. Uh, Right now, I probably have like a hook somewhere. Oh, that's it. So I won't keep what I don't need because it will just slow me down. So, any any anything new from you guys? Like uh, something interesting that you did last week or? Uh, you worked on or please share I mean I'm sure like everybody's like interested well I am for sure let me just sort it out a little bit and I'm just gonna bring back the torso just as a reference for uh, did I extract the torso? I think so eh? maybe not Okay, maybe that's something we'll uh, we'll do as well today if we got the time. So I'm just gonna. I think that was like the latest. Yeah. Let me just double check before I start, just to be sure I got the right body. Of course, if you got any questions. Feel free to write them. I'll I'll probably get them like a uh, once in a while, but uh, you know, since like any artist, sometimes I need like to get into the zone, and uh, it becomes easier to uh, to focus. Uh, yeah, I think I'll I think I'll go with this one. You know, you know, either way, like it's not like if it's really advanced and stuff like that, so. Defines. And if I look at my reference, which I need to bring back, okay, I'm gonna put it on my second monitor. That's one of the thing. Like you know, 
I'm I'm sure like many of you got like already got like a second monitor and it doesn't need like to be like the uh, high end stuff like right now I think I got like a it's 22 inch like two 22 inch and I think like they're almost like 12 years old or something I think they're like 1080p but I'm not even sure to be honest with you because I can't see it like nowhere but I mean like it's to be honest with you I don't feel like it's that necessary for us I mean like when you do texture maybe a little bit more but yeah I I just think it's you you should you know try to get two monitors even if they're not like super high end I think that's that's still good but uh, it really helps if you when you can put like reference on one side and then work on the other side so hey what's up Russia man I'm glad you could you could make it I still remember remember you from last week um, hey, good morning from UK. <laughs> 1 40 a.m. Seriously, you know, I'm really, I'm really, um, you know, how can I say this? Like, I'm, uh, I feel really grateful that you, you, you wanted to make it. You know, that's, that's one of the things. Like, at some point, I'll, I guess I'll try, like, to make it to do, like, some on my own channel, like, do, like, early morning streams, just to be sure, like, I, I don't, you know, do always, like, those in the evening for me like in Quebec and then you know like you guys start watching it during the middle of the night which you know it's kind of a it's kind of a bummer but um yeah so awesome. you've been working on from miniature that's, that's great that's that's something like at some point I'll uh, I'll do but uh, yeah for this thing I'm you know I'm like starting to think like this morning how I should post this and what I want to do with it because you know like you guys know it's a it's a, it's a talent from uh, Batman and uh, of course you know, like I won't leave it as a as a T pose and, um, you know I want it like to be in an action scene and then I started like to think okay you know, of course like Batman needs to be there somewhere I don't know which one which kind of version of Batman I'll be going for but um, you know I want to make a Batman version for sure so and then yeah of course I got like all the other talents and um, before the holidays I was like kind of pretty busy so I've been like dragging this mesh forever but yeah I'd like to do maybe more than one talent that you saw like from the reference page and then yeah they would be like kind of fighting Batman and um, even for the backdrop I got, I got some crazy idea so We'll see. We'll see. I've been reading like the comic called uh, Batman uh, White Knight, which I think came out like fairly recently, like the the graphic novel. And um, yeah, I, I mean, like there's there's really great ideas in there. So if you guys didn't get the chance to see it, it's uh, it's. it's so I'm talking too much and I'm not focusing on myself. So, okay, I'll try to concentrate a little bit more. Hi, Aries. Well, yeah, well, Batman White Knight, well, Joker doesn't become Batman, but he let's just say he becomes like the good guy and then Batman becomes like kind of a struggling hero which which I think it was like a fresh take on the whole thing yeah I I kind of really liked it oh yeah I recommend oh wait okay for some reason like my I thought my short keys were were there but uh seems not so I'm just gonna reload my UI Give me a second. For some reason, it went away, and now, like, when I'm pressing my hotkeys, I'm just like triggering something else. Um, okay, so we'll do a store. Yes. Now, hotkey. Okay, so yeah, we got something. Let's 
So I'm just going to work on one side. And for some reason, like, you know, I guess it depends on which side you prefer, but for some reason I end up always working on the same side. But I think that's a good thing that when you flip it, fill up like the part and then work on the other side, it's it refresh your eyes, so feel free to do it. And you know, I'm starting on this side, but I guess you guys can start like on whatever side you like. Um I just want to do a quick Oh yeah, Prashan, you sculpted the Mushu man. Yeah, I think you should uh, you should post it in the in the comments so people can see it. It's, uh, I think we're all uh, we're all part of the stream uh, because we all like uh, I guess digital sculpting. So nice. Now's the time to shine. And even like you know, I'm pretty sure like there's like awesome guys in the in the chat right now so even if you want like feedback and stuff like that I think that could be a, a great way to ask for some so so what I want to do and that's one of the things I'm gonna try something tonight and uh, we'll see how it works out because I like trying new stuff with you guys for some reason um, see like right now I only one side which I don't have so I'll go whoa wait a second okay so poly groups and then front so see like now I can isolate it and delete it I'm just gonna do an auto group just in case I got like floating parts delete okay no more parts and then So I'm just, I'm just like trying to shape up that, you know, that those kind of a uh, long uh, I don't know what to call them, but like those long arrows around the shoulder pad. I'm gonna try to go at uh, really, really low because those seems to be like quite simple shapes, and it's easier to keep a nice form when you do that. Right now, like I'm kind of working without the body, which is not a good thing because I don't know how big they are versus the body. So, okay. No, I know. One other thing I was wondering, like, um, I guess, uh, Retown Studio, like, um, for uh, if you're doing miniature, I think, you know, one of the things I was, like, trying to get was, um, just call the green stuff, like, for the Warhammer figures. And I was wondering, like, if you knew, like, if it, you know, what kind of, uh, is it called, like, plastic cement or something? Like, it's, is there, like, alternatives to them for that? I was, like, trying to investigate if there was, like, a other stuff that were, like, doing the same kind of job or if the only stuff you could find. Because sometimes one of the, depending on how you put your supports on 3D print, I like to repair some of that stuff. And since it's hard and stuff like that, but I was just, like, trying to look up into many different kind of brands and uh, yeah if you knew uh, if you knew like other al alternatives to do something similar I would love to know about it so Sometimes I use the move, sometimes I use the transpose.
Sieben. Just want to be sure I don't have like any any back view, so I'm just going to do another. But this time I think I'm going to do a 25 group by normals. Okay, because I had a feeling I had like some little thickness on the side, but it seems to be fine. Well, I'm going to do a panel loop anyway, so just to be sure. Um, so. So yeah, for the uh, yeah for the for King's letter yeah right now like I'm working in symmetry and yes I will pose it but right now since I'm playing mostly with like R surface parts it, you know it works better in symmetry because it won't I won't deform them as much for like for stuff like clothing and stuff like that then I'll probably uh, Maybe like I'll I'll rough it up like something in the in the clothing, but usually you're better like to that everything that will bend or twist or deform basically by a pose. Like to I would you know pose the model and then do it. But uh, yeah, I I did both. I did uh, going you know T pose and I I I went like with directly in pose. I kinda one of my favorite sculptors is actually uh, Simon Lee. And um I really love the fact that he's going like in pose right away before um so right now I'm just like trying to realign the oops. I'm just like trying to align the topology because like I said I want to try a little trick. I don't want to have a clue if it will work, will work work out, but for it to work, I need like topologies. Well, starting and ending topology that looks the same. So, It look the same, but it's more aligned the same. That's one of the things, like, 
and I, I think it's really it really depends on which kind of sculptor you are. Some uh, some sculptor will try like to go, um, you know, they'll try like to make everything like uh, just so, like in max or like perfectly straight. For me, I got like more kind of a organic kind of approach, like stuff like that. even if it's art surface on purpose. I will manipulate it, manipulate everything like I'm doing right now, just to give it like a slight organic feel. I cannot like really describe it, but you know you'll feel it. It it get like more of that feel of handmade kind of armor rather than like something that's like done like in the factory, which is definitely what I like. It's 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 really subtle, I guess, but. Uh, you know, I noticed it, so I'm. I presume like other people no notice it as well. So, and I feel overall, it it gives like a yeah, definitely like a different kind of a. It feels more like a character than just like a mass-produced one. And it's and you know, I guess like the the subtle things make the the whole difference. You you know, it it becomes that kind of stuff that you. You don't really know how uh, it's like it's different or preferred, but so so right now one of the thing I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, right now I'm working with my uh, my my mask. And I'm like going, and I'm only like playing with one, and, and then if I need to work on something else, I'm just flipping. But like you can see, I, I still got my uh, poly groups, and I don't want to poly group the whole thing yet, because right now I'm still like in the back of my mind thinking about if I destroy too much of the surface, or for some reason I let's just say I smooth this out, and then it becomes like the thickness really becomes, uh, you know, like uh, uneven. I can always like isolate only the top face, delete this, and then redo my panel loop. So it's it's really like on purpose that I'm working like that. And you know, and even like let's just say I want to work on this thing, but not this one, and then you start like moving it, and you're just like, oh no, what am I doing? You know, I'd like to mask it. Of course, you can try this, but once again, see what happens. Like the mask, like you know, it jump on the underside. But there's a thing called and that's you know maybe some of you are, are aware of this but um, and it's normal that you know if you got like an old machine like mine so your brush might slow down but if you go into auto masking you got the pathological and basically it will uh, only see like elements so if I click on here then I move it see like it's not affecting its neighbor because it's two separate kind of elements of mesh so that's, that could be like a great alternative like if you need like to just like a, you just need like to be aware that, you know, depending on where your dot is gonna be landing, it's gonna pick either one. But uh, yeah, if you need like to, you know, without affecting the other one, that might be a cool trick. So this is that's one thing. Uh, the reason why I I kind of place it, it's uh, just because you know. Turning around back, and I kind of um, when you don't have any thickness, it will be transparent. Of course, you can do like double face, but um, I, I think it gives me like a better idea on how it's gonna react with the slope and all like with the, with um, the thickness. And like I've said, I don't mind even if I'm destroying the surface, I will um, I will just like it, you know probably at the end like no matter what so. Does that make like any sense to you guys, or I'm just like, so, you know, I sound like an old man just, just talking about stuff like it is that, which he's the only one who understands it. Yeah, I hope like a uh, King's letter it answered your question. I think you know some of you guys actually picked up on conversation, which I'm grateful. But um, yeah, I don't. That's the thing. Like I've talked to a few times Daniel, uh, Daniel Bell about you know his approach, but I'm not sure 
I I would be tempted to say like he's still using the same kind of posing from um, what he used to do with uh, his um, man. I forgot that name. like uh, not not B Arn but the B Wolf. Yeah, the B Wolf character. I think I think he. But you know that's been a while ago. I don't know if he's if he's changed since then. I wouldn't need to ask him. But um, but yeah, I mean like there's so many ways to both character. But uh, and none of them are actually quite easy as of right now. I feel like it's it's so far from original sculpt. But perhaps yeah, one day uh, Pixelogic will. Uh, up with like some crazy idea on or a crazy new tool that does it like a lot easier or to be honest with you sometimes I feel it's the only way to be really efficient you would need like another way to manipulate your 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 uh, sculpture instead of going with a pen and, and a tablet you know with you know VR you get like two remote but I, I guess you you would need like almost like 10 gloves and sensors and then you can really play on the mesh by you wouldn't get like the feel of it, but you could move it with your thumbs and fingers. Which posing would be like a lot more nicer. But I'll I'll keep dreaming about it. for the follow because that's the thing like I put like those sound effects which are probably like nothing new f for you like on Twitch and when somebody's like following but that's the thing since I got my headphones to talk to you through the mic like I I don't I don't play like any music just because I want to <laughs> I want to keep my concentration since I'm I'm talking like a, a lot when I'm streaming and yeah every time that you know somebody follows I'm really grateful uh yeah, it's just it's does that sound in my earphone which yeah always uh, caught me off guard so I was not prepared it's so easy I had to start fiddling and uh, I like to pinch myself and man stop fiddling just move on. See, so now I'm not really worried about it because one of the things that you see on the concept, it's it's you don't see it like a whole lot, but um, you know, see, like right now, I it feels like the top ones are slightly longer than the bottom one, and you know, it goes like progressively up until the center, and then it decreases towards the end, and we see it like a little bit more over here, you know. It goes bigger and bigger, and right now what I'm doing is like it's almost one for one. You know, uh, you don't see a whole lot, but that's because that's one of the great things. Once I remove my mask, you know, I'll just remove it just for the sake of showing you. I can just like grow my brush and then you know stretch it as much as I need to to you know give that effect. But right now, my priority. The gap in between, and uh, yeah, the reason why I'm trying like to even out the gap is really because, first off, like one of the thing that I you know I like you guys to to remember, and I think that could be like something interesting for you to try out. It's like you know right now if I bring my my concept, one of the intention from Greg Capullo who actually draw this was like they wanted you wanted to do like a talent in the 1870s, and uh, basically at that time you know like you know, manufacturing and all that wasn't probably like super crisp, so it's perfectly normal that some of the stuff are like uneven or unperfect, so even more at, during this day and age than now. And basically what I want to do is like, you know, you see that those small lines in between? I'm gonna try like to do a, some kind of extrusion and merging and who knows where it's gonna lead up, but um, yeah, to get like that kind of nice trim in between, and uh, I would like it to be welded but uh yeah we'll see what happens 
maybe I'm making my life uh, more complicated for nothing, but uh, I'd like to try it out before I say uh, I abandon and say uh, no. I will never be able to do it. <coughs> so once again, like uh, this is like always like a neat trick. Um, if you guys don't know it, like when you use the transpose or the gizmo, just press control. Like absolutely no subdivisions for this to work. Uh, I know some people were able to do it, and I think I do it like once or twice with subdivisions, but it's basically a bug. So I would not recommend it unless you're not scared of crashing the whole thing or having issues later. But um, yeah, it's just like a great way to duplicate stuff instead of like going over here, doing like duplicate and then merging it. It's, it's a lot. And yeah, you guys are probably thinking. Sometimes I'm really jealous of the 2D guys, like uh, who do like illustrations because those guys are so fucking fast. Since we're working in three dimension and spatial, and of course we need to cover a lot more angles than those those guys. So it takes. A But they cannot really put the 2D image in image, but not as an object. So it's always worth it, I think. So while I'm doing this, I'll read a little bit of the chat to be sure I'm not missing anything. And I know that I asked you guys about. Well, I asked uh, King's letter uh, about the the green stuff, and uh, I didn't get the chance to read it, read the answer. But uh, by the way, like no worries. I mean, like if I don't, I don't mind because it's going too fast, or uh, you know, I ask a question and I didn't see the answer. After when I'm done with streaming, that's where I'll. I'll, I'll always like go back in the old thread and then try to catch everything I miss. And if there's like questions or comments or stuff for me, like you, you guys wanted me to back, I'll usually like note it down. And then the next time we'll, we'll stream, we'll go over it. Uh, one other thing I'm gonna count is like the number of them. So. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. So that's the, if I had like the right thickness to go all around, to be quite so good. So yeah, let me get back at the chat just to be sure. Um, okay, green stuff is also known as knee that all. Oh, oh need that tight which you know I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing it all right but uh, okay there's a brown version as well great good to know uh, King's letter like right now I'm lo not looking at the pixel logic chat per se it's like I'm using like an app called restream and basically from whomever like uh, if you're chatting on on Twitch or if you're chatting on YouTube or if you're chatting on Facebook live basically all of your comments just consolidate all at the same place in my chat so basically I'm not like missing anything and at the same time everything that you post my feed is basically what you see on screen you know like in in this region I think you know, when you see the bubbles popping up it's basically the, the bubbles from all the the different streams so what's cool about it is like if someone asks me something on YouTube then you guys on Twitch can actually take a look at the question or the comment so you know nobody's left out so or you know if I, I answer someone on YouTube then you guys on Twitch got like no clue of what I'm talking about so it's easier like to follow the whole thing so uh, discrimination all good we're all, so all part of the same family which is which is fine. So yeah, just just to finish. Uh, 
Yes, th thanks, uh, Kello. Actually, you know, I, I mentioned it, but you, 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 you got it covered, which is awesome. Yes, Simon Lee is a god. I think half man, half god. Uh, the reason why I wanted to use the the green stuff is basically when I 3D print with my UV resin on my 3D printers, sometimes because of support, I got. I absolutely need to put some some supports in places where I would just to be sure I keep like the old structure integrity of the print and um and because of that when I cut it out or send it there's still like sometimes it's it's good when it's like a um um a convex kind of shape I can just send it off but if it's a concave kind of hole then I need like to fill it in I need like something to fill in and I would like to have something quite quite hard and of course you know I won't like put liquid resin in it and try to cure it well I'm saying that but I guess I could but yeah sometimes it's it's easier just to it's it's hard actually like to leave uncured resin in that hole and then try to figure out like a way to leave it there while it's it's curing so I'd like I would prefer like to go for green stuff or any kind of cement just to fill in those holes and then send it off and then of course like do the primer coat afterwards just to have like a nice even surface to do uh, my molds so uh Hello, Christina. I didn't see. I almost like didn't see you out there. Fifteen minute, fifteen minute la later. But you know, it's Miss Low Reader because I guess sculpting is not like my uh, strong point. But uh, in there, I'll get to you. So. <laughs> Prashan is asking how the power vertex um, for you. It's it's you know it's actually like today it's not that bad. You know it's like it's I think it's like minus seven degrees, like Celsius, which is quite warm right now, because yeah the previous weeks man it was just like minus twenty degrees and minus twenty five with the wind at all. To be honest with you, I almost wish I was in Brazil or some place like that or Mexico. But no, it's you know, it's part of the, it's uh, it's part of the process. So it gives me like an excuse to stay inside and uh, sculpt, I guess, since the weather is so bad outside. But uh, like I've said, it's pretty warm, and we we don't have a we don't have like any blizzard, which is good. But yeah, this year is uh, it's pretty bad. Like uh, usually, we don't have like that much snow. Well, we do have a lot of snow, but it doesn't start that early. But this year, it's, I think it started like in November. It's usually like they have like snow. You know, so for Christmas we get some snow, but before that, not really or barely. But this year it was completely different. So. That's the joy of uh, Winterland, uh, Quebec City. And I went like to Montreal, by the way, like uh, last weekend. And I can tell you, uh, they got like a lot less snow than here in Quebec City. We're just like three hours away, or two hour and a half away, like a um, car, like like 300 kilometers or something apart. And wow, it's you know just that it's <laughs> it's it's almost like a different kind. Of so I think that's starting to look pretty good. I'm just gonna just gonna mm. I'm just gonna try to do the oh I think I'll yeah, wait. I'm thinking at the same time so just give me a moment. I think I'll duplicate this one and then flip it. Will be easier.
Christina, are you comfortable developing solid materials? Yeah, our surface, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it's something. Of course, like for, uh, you know, I always feel it takes more time. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's, uh, it's part of the job. And it becomes like easier and easier, especially with the, the Z modeler. But yeah, but that being said, like I think, I think for many, uh, many people, and um, clearly one of them, like the organic, always stays like this, the easier, or fastest way to hard surface. So forgive it. I feel like you know, you know, you see like a bunch of the surface I have around, and you see how it, it's not perfectly even, and. Um, yeah, it's it's hard like to move it around without drawing too much of the surface. There's like masters out there like with of our surface like a uh, other great uh, surface artist, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's doable. I guess you need just need to be uh, more patient. So, Yeah, I know that like in the UK and France, like uh, when you guys get snow, it's uh, it's nuts. But I mean, like even in New York, you're not that far away from here, and uh, usually when you get a snowstorm, it, it's uh, I think the biggest issue is like they don't have have like the trucks or you know basically the the AV machinery to take care of it. So that's why it becomes such a problem. And um, yeah. Just before, like I start playing too much with that, like I just noticed, like right now the color seems to be a lot more tighter to the neck. So I'll just like it because once again, like I'm always like trying to measure at the same time as I'm sculpting, and right now this is like pretty hard to measure because like uh, check the head size and then the color and then like uh, relating to the head size and then the the top of the shoulders right over here. And then from there, I'll check like what kind of angle and how it does it fit. But right now, since this is like pretty much uneven, and right now I'm quite happy with the overall scale of the head. I think it's too. Uh, but yeah, something must have went wrong because I feel like it's all inflated, which is the right head or body to work on. But it's all right since uh, I'm gonna extract everything in the end. I just need like a reference for uh, proportions. So I'm just gonna be checking if I can isolate only the head. Yeah, no, not really. So I'm gonna try to do a polygroup for this. Oops.
it's, in, it's not a three D scan. It's just a rough uh, sketch that I did in the. In the uh, Yeah, I, you know, I used to work with 3D scans, but uh, it depends on each on each production and uh, in each uh, depending on which studio I'm working. As of right now, like at the Ubisoft Quebec, we're not using any. Scans, but uh, when I was working on Call of Duty, uh, we used to like scan from. Uh, I think it's great for like uh, clothing, and stuff like that. Yeah, like military gear, tactical gear. It's you know there's that stuff is tell it's it's great for uh, reference. Uh, I think like Battlefield, Battlefield One, I think used a lot of scans, and it really shows. It really feels. Uh, so right now I kind of like save my mask so I can just hide it, and then. But I think I'm gonna leave it. Like you can see, I'm always like doing those small uh, taps because I kind of like to see it move in increments, so it's easier like to control and see like how much. R rather than going like this, I feel it's harder like to to stop or I can like kind of uh, progressively see it changing, and it's just like if I got like a timeline, I can just pause the the timeline. I don't know if it makes sense, but. So I, uh, it seems to work in my mind. So I know that there's like right in his neck, there's like some kind of um, is it like a jewel or yeah, that might be something I want to take care of right now. I think as a placeholder, I'll just put. A cube because once again, like it's, it's all in the measurements, and the more I put parts, like in the concept, I I can use them as measurements for the the rest of the stuff to align. <laughs> so not used to that different gizmo. Is it this one? Yeah. Whoa! Where is he? the inside of that box. Okay, I'm I'm in isolate, so no wonder. Just because I find it annoying, I'll just wait. I'll just put it in the middle with my object. So I'll try to to align it as much as I can. Uh, this thing, uh, the crit, uh, just underneath. So and what you know, I guess it's no secret. But if I look at this, then it's always like measurement. So. You know, I look at the head, I look at this and see like that space in between, then I try to check that space. Right now I feel like there's the gap seems to be slightly bigger. And then you got like the chin, which is over here, and then you, you can see a bits of the neck. So I get you know, I guess the feeling, you know, that I am having is like the chin, the neck, and this is actually good. It's really underneath. So because of that, since I got my concept. I'm just gonna move this and 
since I can, like Joseph is saying, I got my box. Come on. Okay. I'll go pizza box. And then this means that I can move more than one sub tool at the same time. I'm pressing Control Shift Alt and then clicking on the bits that I want. And then again, I'm looking at my concept. Well, first off, I can, you know, put my gizmo in the center of the object. Like you see, it's the, this thing. Then mask it. Then, I mean, lock it. And then I can just lower it. I don't really pay attention to the whole chest piece. For now, it's irrelevant. I will readjust later. But I'm trying to find that gap. So, yeah, that works. And then right now, just for the sake of visibility, I will just destroy this while removing it. And even like, it's good to check different angles be sure if it still makes sense so one of the thing that I'm always like trying to play out is like the oops is the the shapes so you know from 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 front view it's kind of a it's it's you know I'm looking at the measurements and since we see the the concept from the well three quarter front view but on the side just to make it interesting you see like right now like I got like this shape which is well see first off like the beak could could clearly like like try to explain it so it makes sense but basically like the whole gesture line I think it's something that I will always try to force and I think it makes the sculpt more elegant but at the same time it create like that kind of uh, you know like for the illustration like the the concept guys to use the to call it like the uh, right now I forgot the name, but basically it's the line that will that will uh, snatch your eye and then makes it move across the image. Well, for this it's a little bit like that. It's like right now I want like those lines to because like the main point of focus of this guy is actually the head. So right now I'll like force the lines like you can see right now that it's like it's flowing and then it goes like over here and then it will go up to that tool so I need like to have some some kind of break up or even like that line is like kind of an extension of this one and then it will actually roll up under the chin but it's still like it points out towards that so I think to have like a nice evenly flowing line I think you know at this part the beak should be perhaps a little bit more like that so so see like it's doesn't need like, to be like a perfect continuation, but in the front view you can barely see anything different. The, the magic only really happens from the side view. And I mean, if you do this with everything, you will definitely have a rhythm in your mesh. Rhythm. That's the that's the word I was looking for. More than gesture in your and I think it it creates like a some kind of a like um sports cars do that like often. You like a, sports bike okay. like the impression of motion while you know being static and it's you know it's, it's really an artistic choice but for me I kind of like characters to be dynamic even if they're, they're standing still so something to experiment and um, I know that like uh, again like my favorite uh, artist for that or teacher for that the guy uh, called Michael Matesi who did like the force drawing books so look them up if you guys uh, if you guys never heard about it but uh, yeah the old concept of of you know having uh, he did like one with four at me I think I got it like somewhere in my shelf and basically yeah, I always like show like the exposing the, the opposing forces of like round versus straight on the human body and that's one of the, I think one of the great things to bring out in the your sculpting as well. So don't be shy. I mean, like experiment, try new things. It's usually that's the 
think that that's the most uh, exciting and uh, fun way to learn and to discover new things because you know like even what I'm showing you like right now I think it's it's I kind of like um, I've learned for like many many people and, and tutorials and all kinds of ways of learning but in the end I kind of like uh, went off with uh, what uh, clicked best with me so even if I'm showing you this like for for as of right now it's like it's working really well with me but in no way it's like it might be like something that works well for you so definitely like try to experiment with as much as I can up until you find like something that really resonate with you and that's how you can evolve or or mix it up and create like a something new so so You see that you prefer the color from the 1840, which is, well, I think like many of them are like so cool. 1840, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, like Jack the Ripper kind of stuff. Well, I'm gonna show it to everyone. But yeah, like the, what the Ray Thorn Studio is like seeing, you know, like this guy, it's 1840, which, which is really cool too. I mean, that's, to be honest with you, I feel like there is no kind of bad choice. Even just the guy is like super interesting. The girl too, so even like this guy, which looks a little bit more like a pirate. And yeah, well this one is like more, I guess, doesn't have like that. Because this has got like a retro fill, with, with, which I kind of really like. But this, this one as well, I mean, yeah. To be honest with you, uh, if I had like uh, enough time, I'd like to do them all. But uh, time will tell us if it's possible or if I don't get appealed by another sculpting. And like I've said, I need like to figure out how I'm going to do Batman and what kind of style I'm going to... To be honest with you, Batman, I think that's the most, <laughs> that's the most uh, stressful kind of sculpting I can do. It's As much as I like Batman, I'm, like, I'm petrified just by the idea of... Uh, Missing it up, I wanted like to be really cool, but yeah, it's and at the same time, I wanted like to have my own flair. I don't want to go too crazy with it, but but yeah, there's so many people who did and redid Batman, and there's so many cool, cool stuff out there. That, that. Well, see, like right now, like m one of the things that really annoys me, I try like to go, for, but it's like in low res. I'll um I'll flip this. I'll flip the mask. And then of course I don't want to subdivide all the mesh, so uh, you can use sculptress and yeah. It's the reason why I'm not using it is really because my stream becomes way too slow. But uh, yeah, it's as soon as I change my machine and my streams become faster, um or my PC are is like a stronger I will definitely go uh, this thing like uh, Sculptures Pro which add up polygons but in the meantime since I'm a poor dude I'm just gonna go divide so that's how I add polygons so now I can I can still stay like that because you know let's face it like all the part I don't really use it I'll just go into this so just smooth it out then I'll reveal back I'm just gonna hide it so we'll go a little bit faster and yeah one of the 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 cool the thing yeah, 
one of the one of the cool things about doing it this way rather than sculptures and that's one of the things that kind of annoys me a little bit is the fact that um, you cannot use the back face so see like the issue that I'm getting right now see like um, like pulling in sculpting yeah it's the back face will solve that but as soon as you go sculptress pro you cannot do back face so yeah, a little little annoying so but by the way I'm using right now doesn't matter like I can still sculpt just gonna remove the mask well I'm gonna mask this then because I, I got like those spikes and I want to kind of remove them once again I got no subdivision so what you can do is always do this group mask then create oops create all delete and then you can do uh, close all see it's gone and then of course since I did this I just read in my mask. So now I didn't go too fast, but uh, feel free to check out the 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 stream uh, video archive on demand on the, the YouTube channel of Pixelogic that should be up in a day or two. So just want to be sure. Yeah. Okay. Still, you know, I still feel I'm. Polygon, so I'm just gonna subdivide it once more. Now it's starting to be smooth. Can't wait to see uh, what uh, the WB Montreal and uh, and Rock City are uh, are making for the game. I Many say it's like it's kind of talent related uh, game. So who knows? Maybe they already did those characters or redid them, redesigned like our. They probably have like if they did like they probably have their own kind of Arkham style so but yeah that would be really nice to see them uh, in a game So once again, since we don't have the back view, I'll need like to figure it out. Yeah. That I absolutely the it's when it does that, it means um it means if I go double see the 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 back actually goes through, so Usually the only way I know how to solve well, we'll try like the topology thing. It might work out. Whoop. But yeah, it seems to work. So yeah, I guess that's the way to to, to uh take care of it. Just to be sure just be sure to put the right parts, but uh
Sorry, for some reason it seems to be super laggy. Ah, I guess it's because of the topology goal. Yeah, that's it. Again, I still got this thing. I like almost too much polygon, it's almost like harder to work and have like even surfaces. It's all right. I'll still be able to do something. I'd rather I like m a little bit more than not enough, so. And just to be sure, I keep that kind of sharp inside. Once again, like, I want to keep, like, some cool momentum so instead of finishing flat I will try to make it a little bit more round let me get let me just take a small coffee sip the secret of my power Just gonna check. I know that I had like a back view reference, even if the concept, the, the I mean, the sketch are not like super accurate. Sometimes it's uh, it still can be useful. So, um, yeah. I thought I, I like one or two, but it uh, seems not, so... Okay, it's all good. and then 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 I'm gonna take one of those let's just say like I'm gonna do a duplicate because I need like those kind of like a bar right there so already there almost like already placed I'm just gonna go and then I'm just I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna do a delete hidden. And then I'm gonna do an auto group. Then I'm gonna isolate it. Come on. And then do a delete hidden. And what's great about it is like right now it's all perfect quads almost, so I can do a delete hidden and then I got then I can always do something like that it's you know it's really more like to save some time because like that line becomes more straighter like right now we can see it's not perfect but it should be good enough so let's go back to it Move, but I'm gonna go transpose this time And see, like for my measurements, I got a concept, and you know, I'll just just show it to you again, just in case you missed it. There's like one, two, three pins, and well, I'm sure like right now it's not intentional that they're not at the same distance, so I'll make them at all at the same distance because in real life 
I guess they would be. So I'll count three with that kind of same distance, and then right up to bat, we'll know exactly if the proportion are still with. The so I'll just try to place it where it should. You can even like play with the transpose if you want to stretch it a little bit just to reach and then same thing on the other side I'll rotate just to lift it up and then with transpose I will just extend it you can even move it just a little bit um, since it seems like there's some kind of curve into it. I will just, I will, before I, I move, uh, I move like it to be curved, I will uh, leave it like that and then I will just already do a duplicate, at least the other one on top, because the other one on top, you see. Since I want like the same kind of uh, width from the, this one and this one, I'm already like put it there. I can still go with translate and You guys are still there? Nobody's talking. Like bad sign, bad sign. I never know. It's uh, I only hear my my own my own sound of my voice and the <laughs> kind of the scratching from the the poor uh, card on my computer. I don't know. It must be the fan or something. But I always hear like that kind of background noise. But yeah, someday uh, I'll try to put music, but. At this point, I think I got like at the concentration level, I'm not like high enough to to process uh, music, cons you know, sculpting, chatting, and and reading, I guess. So once again, I'm trying like to. Check out my angles. Usually, it's not supposed to. When I smooth, when I smooth, I'm not supposed to be affecting the borders. So, like the proportion should stay the same, but at least the, the surface inside will. Fly. So, it, if I, you know, my things, really, they shouldn't be affected. I'm just like trying to check on every angle if it doesn't look too weird before I commit to this. Okay. And a little bit more smooth. And then, you know, again, like sometimes the smooth can cut it. You want to start affecting like this because we see like the line is not perfectly straight then you know of course you can always move it but I feel like like harder for stuff that are like art surface so I would rather go polish and then I'll just like brush brush it like a few times so and, then, and see like now the surface is almost perfectly even maybe a little bit more over here but yeah so I think we're good so once again, like, no worry, you know, we'll go panel loop. Um, we'll just put it thicker, though. And if I don't like the result later, or I destroy it, just uh, redo it by isolating the top loop. So, 
we'll go for this. And, and like you guys remember, for those who are used used to follow this channel or my stream, um, I always like to throw in Chris Poly Group. And then because it's our surface, I use a value between two. Two is like kind of like a soft edge, so like wood and stuff like that. And usually for metals, I like to go three. So we will uh, hold up like subdivision up to three. Well, first I'll need to remove my mask. One of the issues that I'm getting is like those round corners. And yeah, it, it might be because my poly groups are not done properly. Well, it's it does it by default, but see it puts the same poly group everywhere. So you get like two choice. One is like putting the I'll just remove the mask from the top one. One is like putting the we'll do like both of them. Um one is like putting poly groups uh, I'm sorry, crease, single edge, and then you can put them manually yourself. The other one is like since they're pretty much like hard angle, um, and usually that's the one I use the most time. It's like you can go 25 or 35. That's pretty much the values I'm using all the time, and it will reassign, you know, poly groups depending on. And this, you know, see, like we got two different poly groups, so you can go back, increase poly group. Now we've got one in the corner. So if I subdivide, see now it's holding a, holding up the the corners which they sh they sh they stay sharper and if I go back to this so right now like I won't play with this too much because since my trim is not even done right now I'm I'll readjust but for now I think that's that should be good enough um I'll just maybe curve it a little bit more Hi, Mr. Square Peg. Um, oh, I would describe the style of the decoration. You mean like as if it's uh, organic or art surface? Is that is that what you mean, or I would be like tempted to say it's an art surface asset? But it's the kind of asset that you start with organic and then just because I basically it. Yeah, it's it's kind of a blend of two. It's almost like a car, you know, like it's made out of art, like art surface, but it's still smooth and organic. One of the thing that I try like to always look to look for is the accu curve. You know, as much as I like the pinching, when you start playing with art surface, that's the one of the first thing that destroy your thing, unless that's what you want. But uh, let's just say you want to put some bruise or bend in the metal. In this case, it's not the it's not the case. I just want like something clean. But see, like even like this, I'm I'm really playing with fire because I'm moving like perfectly uh, you know nice um surface stuff and the more you play with it the dangerous will be you know destroying the hard surface effect so so just to be sure we got like something interesting visually I'll do a mirror and well yes of course right now I don't mind if I don't not keeping my subdivisions because I got detail and the creases are still there see like it's so what I'll do is like I'll go low delete higher and 
then mirror and weld, and then subdivide it. So, and then of course don't forget about you know symmetry. I'll just since the um, look at the look at the trim. It's like a R trim, and right now. Uh, Yes, I could like um, uh, sculpt it in, but right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do like the wooden kind of chest piece. Well, I don't know if it's wood, but it kind of feel like that. And um, I'll do like a this thing as a trim extrusion with the Z modeler. So right now I'm gonna erase it because I want like this to be really smooth and have the right size. And then in it, I'll I'll rearrange the topology to extrude that to have like that nice and hard. Uh, and then once I'm finished with that, then I'll realign the shoulder piece to fit it inside. So oh, awesome fiddling asthma. Yeah, I mean like you ordered the the two books from. That's yeah. That's really like one of the a great investment I mean it will serve you for the longest time it's uh there's so many uh anatomy books out there but I think like for us it's it's a mandatory uh, book to to get if you get the chance you won't regret it for sure There's uh, other books as well, like if if you uh, ever got the chance, you know, I didn't put a reference, but since today I like no book, but another book that you guys can check. It's more expensive, but it's still like really good as well. It's, um, that's another like master sculptor, and I'm going to show you guys his website in a moment. It's, uh... Philip Faro, which is I think like a French sculptor, and uh, basically if you go to his books and DVDs, at my previous studio they add they add the books and yeah it's really good stuff and oh and even like this one that's a new one, I don't remember like seeing this one before but yeah those three books, like those two are focusing mainly on um, on heads, so it's 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 quite good for that. But this one is like more on bodies, and then this one seems to be on gesture and drapery. So maybe that's an, that's one of the book I should I should take a look at. But yeah, if you get like this book, it's um. But like I've said, like it's I, I'm saying it's expensive, but it's not that bad actually. But um, yeah, it's it's like a traditional clay sculpture, but the whole uh, approach and the way he sees it, I think that's uh, measurements and stuff like that. It's a really great. Uh, book so yeah if you're if you're looking into like other great book for that's clearly one of them yes uh, Paul Richer uh, artistic and SME is another one that it's but I would say like the Paul Richer one is really more about um, anatomic uh, accuracy I guess you know if you want to really learn like bones muscle and stuff like that um, the one I was just shown it's more really about how do I like landmarks and stuff like that? How you actually pay attention for uh, little things that if you want to make it right, you need like to when you build your your uh, your sculpture. If you want to make something right, it's like it could be like you know angles of the nostril versus like the 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 edge of your eyebrow and yeah, like basically the center of your eye. Like for female, I know there's like rules like that, like the center of the pupil of the female needs to if you draw a line from the nostril to the far end of your uh, eyebrow basically the pupil needs to be right in the center or something and I might be wrong but uh, if I recall right it was like something a little bit like that so so yeah I think like sometimes like those rules they're not like like per se um, anatomically uh, grounded but they're more like kind of artistically grounded and you really that's a good way like to measure and to be sure everything is in place because let's face it when you're like doing human bodies or 
human faces sometimes. You might feel something is clearly off, but you just can't um, you know, put your fingers on it. So this is this is like a great uh, plus for uh, for your first thing. Like remember those uh, those things to look out for. One of the things that they don't see in the concept, I'm really tempted to do is, um, since we got like trims uh, for this, I do one. I'm just gonna reveal it. I think I'm gonna do a hole for the neck, and the collar is gonna stick out of it. Come on. Did I just delete my? bottom mesh whoops what did I do oh I think by hiding it I think I just actually clip it or something that is weird yeah, just give me a second I'll just try to understand what the hell went wrong Weird. Whoops. So weird. Huh? It seemed like permanently a uh, clip. I don't know what happened. Really, really strange. Okay, but in that case, I'll just I'll just do a combination of two. So Yeah, if I think about like other books that uh, might help out, uh, I'll share them. I'll share them for sure. But uh, but I think uh, I think like uh, yeah. Well, just before I because yeah, I just noticed that we're like past ten. But just to finish off, like um, I think Scott Eaton got like a great um, reference point, especially for an anatomy. Well. Doing his classes, like, if you really want to push your whole anatomy, I think that's clearly, like, one of the class, best class to go through. But, yeah, you got, like, the course that you can do online or, or on-site, but you get the, just need, like, to remember, um, there's, like, a, Then I say me. I know that there's like a section where he exposed like all the books he recommends. So I know that there's like sculptures, but I'm just gonna well not email. But I just wrote got eaten books. Whoops. I know that there's like a like Bridgman is in there. Oh, come on. I think I'll wrap up with that. Um, Scott Eaton. Re reference library must be it. Yeah, I think that's it. And if I should get the reviews. Yeah, that's it.
that's the one. So I'll just paste the link in the, and I think I'm gonna paste the Fargo one as well, just in case. Um, yeah, if I go back to, where was it? Okay, over here. For some reason, like the image are not loading, but yeah, like that's another one, like God Frigid Bames. It's been a while since I wanted like to get his book. It's all in German, and I think now they did like an English version of it. But it's yeah, the drawings are just like incredible. But um, yeah, if you want to look up like those books, I mean, for anatomy, I think they're really solid. They're not, they might not be like exactly like focused on um, like I was saying with Faro about you know, like artistic approach. But if you want to have like physically accurate anatomy books, uh, they're they're great. So <clears throat> so yeah, so I think I'll leave on that. Um, I think I'm, you know, since I'm having so much fun like, working on this, I think I will uh, continue this week and, uh, fully. Like, that's the thing, like, I I don't think I'm going to be streaming every morning, but I, uh, at least I'll try, like, to go live and not just go offline uh, during mornings uh, this week. So, yeah, at least, like, if you go onto my Twitch channel at the bottom or uh, YouTube, you'll be like able to catch up if you miss like anything on on the torso which I might like probably tackle and, um, yeah I'll try like to figure out what the uh, the upper part in the meantime and if not then uh, I'll just like continue with what I got I'm not really uh, too worried about it so once again thank you yeah thank you Raytan for uh you know you were like uh it was super interesting to talk with you on the stream, just like other, uh, all all of you guys. Same thing for you, uh, Galo86. So, thanks a lot. I hope you appreciated everything or bits of it. And uh, I always feel fortunate to to have you with me, sculpting every Monday night. So, thanks a lot, everyone. So, and on that, have a good week. You know, feel free to poke me if you want me like to go over like some of the stuff that we talked during the stream and if not then uh, we'll oh, see you uh, yeah. we'll see you uh, next Monday and if not it might be some hidden you know day during the, the, the during the week oh, like one of the yeah. early mornings but, but that's the thing like if you guys uh, because right now, one of the things that I find like, really annoying with my Facebook page, it seems sometimes when I send out like notification of when I'm going to be streaming and during the morning, it's not reaching out. So so what I'll do is um, I'm going to be posting which morning I'm going to be streaming this week, which I'll try to do it like the evening before. Uh, and I'm going to put it through Instagram, but I will, uh, I can, I can like mul multi post. Uh, through Instagram, so basically we'll be on my Art of Seb um, Facebook page and my um, my uh, Instagram. So if you guys want to hook up like during the week, uh, in the morning, it's going to be a different format since it's going to be <laughs> eight hours apart. But uh, yeah, I'll be there. And if not, then I'll see you uh, next Monday. So once again, thanks a lot and uh, have a good week. Bye bye, everyone.